Well, there you are. You're welcome back. It's time for us to have a quick gander through the newspapers for today. We've got a number of them out, the Ghanaian Times, the Daily Guide, and the Daily Graphic. And of course, Norvana Kohepo joins us. Looking quite colorful in your African wear. Yeah, yeah. I like yours as well. Oh, Madasa, Madasa, Madasa. But <laughs> this one, I see the hand of a woman in this getup. Well, actually, the person that put this together, uh, Biba Wear, uh -huh. Abiba. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a woman that's so did, I, so what did I see? Yeah. Okay. You can that, find it somewhere around that comment. I don't know if that's the only hand of a woman I see. Well, that's the only hand of a woman that you see. Uh, you. Nothing else. Yo, Mr. Akwaifu. <laughs> well, um, uh, let's uh, quickly delve into the headlines and then we'll pick a few of these stories to uh, review. I've got the Ghanaian Times and the Daily Guide. You have the Daily Graphic. Let me do this quickly. Ghanaian Times, front page, banner headline. Auditor General recovers 67 million Ghana cities from organizations and individuals for state coffers. Also on the front page, Chief Imam admonishes Reverend Osu Bempa and Muslim youth. Ghanaians react to Osu Bempa's prophecies. And also, President commends research department. Uh, on the back page of the Ghanaian Times, returnees in Boko go into farming. And 97,805 emergency calls recorded during the Christmas season, just during Christmas alone. Wow. Um, uh, let's do the Daily Guide real quick. Uh, front page, Mahama Dodges Rawlings celebrates 31st Revolution on Facebook. Hmm. 21, uh, sorry, 2,155 cops promoted. Congratulations to them. Yana Yakubu Andani funeral begins, that's today. One arrested over attack on Ousu Bempa's church. And curfew at Trepone over deadly clashes. Now that uh, story uh, came out yesterday. Uh, we're keeping an eye on that matter. Let's uh, flip over for the back page real quick. That's back page of the Daily Guide. A few sports stories there, including this one. Uh, Captain One Golf rocks and Cobra. McDan dreams big for tennis. He always does. Uh, PGA captain honors mum, and George Darko gives to OTC patients. And that will sum it up for the Daily Guide. Okay, so we'll move to the Daily Graphic this morning. On its front page, it says Auditor General retrieves 67.32 million. Uh, those are recoveries from individuals and institutions in 2008 alone. And, and I think that this man, you know, meant business when he said, mm -hmm. even if he has to surcharge you, he's going to do it. Yeah. And then also still on the front page of the Daily Graphic, you have Yana Yakubu and Danis funeral begins today. And then one news from the banking sector, Omni Bank, Sahel, Sahara Bank granted approval to merge and then when you go to Bema Camp, the military cemetery there, the story says the graves are around 16,000, but VVIPs have been allocated 112. Uh, mm. Let's go to the back page of the paper. And I think that picture over there, if you can see it, uh, would be the picture of the week. Uh, that's four saved from fire at Asafo. Um, you see some gentlemen trying to save these women, uh, women who are said to be having their residence somewhere up that particular building. And then Chirapone Saboba plays under curfew. Uh, and um, that's not a very good story mm. there. I don't know if you want to know what is in the middle or center spread. President Akufuado Lord's Research Department of Foreign Ministry. Uh, that is what we have there. And then allocation of oil blocks. 16 companies to no faith by January 21. Those are the you know headlines that you have mm. when it comes to the daily graphic. Right now, the big one in the daily graphic and the Ghanaian Times is the Auditor General yeah. recovering 67 million Ghana cities from organizations and individuals for state coffers. I want us to touch on that first, but before that, I think it's telling that this is the banner headline in the Ghanaian Times and the Daily Graphic, but it doesn't make an appearance even on the, in, in the corner of the Daily Guide. I mean, nowhere in the Daily Guide uh, have they made mention of the Auditor General's um, recovery of this money. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you will recall that the Daily Guide for a while was publishing some 
rather, um, I don't know the right word to use, but negative stories about the Auditor General mm. for a period of a couple, uh, a couple of weeks, I think. You, you um, and I do not know the editorial policy as far as the legal We do not. Concerned. We and have only noted. What, yesterday in the morning front page, mm. um, it was about Rollins, um, Mahama not mm. attending the program. Same today, thing today. They come back and say, well, Mahama decided to celebrate on Facebook. You know, mm. uh, still bad a headline. Yeah. I mean, but I think um, uh, for, for what we've seen, this is historical. Auditor General yeah. uh, recovering this money. It is history, Ghanaian history, that we are observing. Remember this but not to the Daily Guide. Th this, these are state-owned mm. papers. That uh, is the I, Daily Graphic, Graphic Communications, yeah. Ghanaian Times. Yeah. Yeah, so for so, them... So yes, it's th just something I noted. Tell the story mm. of um, the state and its agencies. Mm. You know, somehow mandated... Yes. Or is mandatory for them. Mm. The uh, Daily but, Guide. But they are private not. paper. I mean, they would mm. also come with something that. By the way, it's not mandatory. Um, I think the Daily Graphic and the Ghanaian Times, they have uh, policies that permit them to be editorially. Yeah, the reason why I said so mandatory, it's, it's not is, mandatory is coming from the state. But they often choose. <laughs> no, they often <laughs> choose to do so. But they are almost mandatory. every time publishing what mm. is coming from the state. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what happens anyway. Mm. When the president coughs, they will make sure they publish it. Mm. That's what they do. But let's go straight to the story, uh, which, um, or let's go to what the Daily Graphic um, published. And they said that the Auditor General's office made remarkable progress last year when it disallowed some expenditures from the consolidated fund and surcharged individuals and entities that engage in some financial infractions. Mm. After a special audit on disallowance and surcharges, the Auditor General had recovered 67.3 million Ghana cities into government chest as of November 30, 2018. Mm. And so we don't even know what it was able to do in, in December. He said the recoveries followed the issuance of 112 surcharge certificates mm. to individuals and organizations last year. The recoveries were from public officers, individuals and institutions who committed financial infractions in the course of performing their duties. The audit declined recognition of 5.48 billion liabilities, that is in terms of expenditures, mm. charged on the government purse, approving only 6.33 or 6.33 billion out of the total bill of mm. 11.8 billion ministries, departments and agencies submitted to the Ministry of Finance for payment between 2013 and 2016. These uh, are those who authorized those payments or fraudulently misappropriated funds were surcharged in accordance mm. with the law which resulted in the recoveries that they did. Mm. I mean, very interesting. Yeah. And, and I think that if we can have very strong auditor generals like this, I mean, for you to be able to say, no, these payments that you did, you were not supposed to have done it. We think that you shouldn't have done these ex uh, kind of expenditures that you have done. Mm. And for having gone ahead, you are to be surcharged to pay these monies. And they've gone to the extent of also disallowing certain payments that mm. were supposed to be done. That is thumbs up for the Auditor General. And I think that the department, even after this particular man, will have to continue to do this. I mean, mm. it's important that we do these things. My commendation goes uh, first to the Auditor General. I mean, you're right. This is, uh, this is great work. This is what um, he's supposed to do anyway. In fact, there is a certain irony and tragedy in the fact that we are seeing this as such a, um, such a commendable act, that we are celebrating him for doing it, when really it should have been a matter of routine yeah. uh, but he has started something important uh, and he does need to be recognized for that I wasn't exaggerating when I said this is historic yeah, yeah. I mean I don't think we will find a record of this ever happening anywhere in, a, in the history certainly not in the history of the fourth republic <laughs> you know so um, for that alone he deserves uh, that commendation but also let us take a moment to commend Occupy Ghana this is a direct result of the pressure that they brought to bear on a state institution. And it, it just goes to show that this thing works. You know, Occupy Ghana, 
has uh, always made a point of seeking information and uh, going through the law courts and putting pressure through the public, you know, using the media uh, to put pressure on public institutions to do the right thing. Not to do anything extraordinary, not to go above and beyond their, their jobs, but just to do the job so that Ghanaians are better off. That is 67 million Ghana cities that has made its way back into the coffers. You know, it's probably a fraction of what we've lost, but my goodness, 67 million Ghana cities can build a few bridges. You know, it can, it can, uh, it can send a few more children to school. It can, it can uh, make sure that a few more uh, mothers will not have to be carried, ferried across rivers and lose their children by the time they get to the district hospital 40 kilometers away from their home. You know, so th this money is significant. It should make a difference. We would like to see the government even tell us what they use this unexpected, uh, I'll use windfall in, in quotation here, unexpected windfall for. I want, to see, I want them to tell us what they will use it for so that we get to understand the value of what the Auditor General is doing. Is doing, yeah. You know, and then it will also become uh, a matter of routine. So if someone else becomes Auditor General, they will have the, the confidence and the bravery and, in fact, the precedent to do exactly the same thing. Can you imagine how much we would save every year? How many more children's lives? How many more schools, hospital beds, and so forth we would be able to acquire for our nation if only the Auditor General continues to do this. And uh, I, I don't just mean him, but every other Auditor General we will ever have. And could you, one of the things that would also happen over the period is that people begin to sit up and know that. I mean, if you do not follow the financial uh, procedures mm. laid down you know, laws, you will be surcharged or you'll be made to pay back this money. And it's yeah. interesting to know that from the school feeding program alone, they recovered 2.1 million Ghana cities from there. It will interest you to know that the College of uh, Health and Wellbeing, they recovered 463,896 cities. That is how much they recovered from there. Mm. Talk of uh, John Fofi of AMSEC, uh, talk of the uh, SOEA farms, I mean, they were linked to the school feeding. Mm -hmm. you, the Ghana is, I mean, you, you, you have individuals, Philip uh, Atipo and all those guys, they recovered monies from these people. And, and now, I think that it's, it's, it, 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 these things need to be done mm. for people to begin to set up yeah, in yeah. this country. We want to see some deterrent yes. uh, force, right? Yeah, sure. Now, the last thing I want to say about this is that the Auditor General, by doing a good job, following the pressure, from you know, Occupy Ghana and other civil society groups has now highlighted an inefficiency of our Attorney General. Attorney General's office, not, not the specific person holding the office, but our Attorney General's office over the years. You see, when the Auditor General releases a report, it is a legal document. If the Auditor General says this office overspent its budget by so so and so, or if it says that this office cannot account for this amount, or this officer withdrew this amount of money from a, 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 a state account and never returned it, or this officer overpaid on a contract by this amount, if the Auditor General states this in a report which is presented to Parliament, that becomes a statement of fact, a legal document. It doesn't require which further can be prosecuted. Thank you. It does not require further investigation. You don't need to then bring the police to come and investigate. It's done. The Auditor General says this money was spent by this person. Therefore, that is a statement of legal fact. Yes, but all the Attorney the General has to do yes. is take that statement of legal fact, take it to court, prosecute the individual. So beside the surcharging and the disallowance, which, you know, is, is a financial mechanism, there should also be a legal mechanism. Okay, Kujo, and, but let and, me and, just and, check this in and yeah. let you understand. Now, in audit processes, mm -hmm. when um, the auditor finishes his job, you ought to give right of response from oh. management. You, you, you are understand? going back in the process. No, no, wait. I'm I, talking sometimes, about, sometimes, uh -huh. you know, mm -hmm. we issue... Um, audits reports mm -hmm. and if the report indicate mm -hmm. that the management had not come back mm -hmm. to give further explanations mm -hmm. you understand as to certain things yeah 
is, is a bit problematic. No, Van. Because if they haven't, yes, you can go ahead and state that, okay, A, B, C, D, but then we could pick it and then use that to ask for, because probably at the time the auditing was going on, mm. that Mr. A was not there okay, or no, had but been transferred. Let, the accountant there was not able to give proper you know, explanations. Right. Because people go on pension, people go on transfers. Yes. And for that no, matter, man. you need Let's to look at all these... clarify this for the benefit of our audience. Yes. What you are saying is true. Yes. But I am talking about when an audit report is submitted to Parliament. By that point, certain things have happened. As you know, nobody is audited without their knowledge. Yes, of course. Okay. And once the auditor finishes their first step, which is looking into the, the organization or the individual's books, the auditor then uh, sends that preliminary report to the person seeking the response that you are talking yes, about. Yes. A time frame is given within which that response must come. Yes. And you are informed of the consequences of not responding within that time frame. Yes. If you respond within that time frame and your response clarifies the matter, that matter will not make it into the final report. It will be dropped. If or even your, if it makes it, your, respo your yes, response, your will, response be will be added. Very will good. Be added, yes. If your response does not clarify the matter, it will still be added, but it will be indicated that your response has not clarified the matter. So when that report is given to Parliament, it says one of three things in terms of response. Either they did not respond, they responded and clarified the matter, or they responded, but the matter was not clarified. Their response has not clarified the matter. Yes. Either way, legally, that document is a completed work, oh, a course, legal I document. Agree. I agree. And so the, 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 there is no need for police. No, or but the, 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 the law or, that the law that you know covers the Auditor General also gives it some uh, powers, and that is why today we see what they are doing. Yeah. You understand? Yes. There are certain see, no, jobs I'm that talking about it's not the, the it's attorney not... general's job. It's like a baton. Once this is done, the attorney general does not require an investigation Fair. in order to go to court and prosecute the individuals who are named. And they are named. It is never a secret. They, yes, the yes, the yes, positions yes. are... And made. these documents are this, public documents. Yes. This person took this money and spent it here. This person did this and has not explained why. So the, audit, the attorney general has no work to do except turn up in court with that document and prosecute and seek justice on behalf of the people of Ghana for those who are robbing us. Sorry, so I want to know, over the years, we have had audit reports every single year. Why have we not seen prosecutions following? Now we have an auditor general who has even gone further after doing the report, has even gone to retrieve the money. And if, look, if you have been accused of, you know, overspending or, you know, uh, misapplying funds, and we say give it back, and you give it back, please, is that but not the same? So we need to check what the law says. I mean, misapplication, overspending, misappropriation, mm -hmm. you know, we need to look at what does the law say in terms of the punishments. Because I think that listening to this Auditor General, there are some that they will just, you know, that take the money and then that'll be there. Some you may have to be still prosecuted. There's, so we you know, look at what the, the law says. that allows for the uh, surcharging and um, disallowance. Yeah, because if you are surcharged, you, you there pay is more a, than There is a PNDC do. law that Occupy Ghana always quotes. <laughs> and that law includes... Prosecuting. Uh, thank you. Okay, so now All we right. move to the, the, the Omni Bank, Sahel Sahara mm. Bank, granted major approval. I have been asking myself that Bank of Ghana, why don't you just come out and then tell us the full list of banks that you know have met the four hundred? I, um, I thought they were supposed to do it's that. It's supposed to be within the week. Today is Friday. If they don't, possibly we we'll have to wait till Monday. Now, as of yesterday, Monday is a holiday. As, yeah, uh, Tuesday mm. or whichever day that they so wish want to release either a press release or by a press conference, whichever way they, way they, they want to do it. At least we know that this Omni Bank Sahara Sahara marriage had been on the table for far too long. They have approved it. That of First Atlantic and I think Energy Bank they've approved that mm. as well. I don't know whether it's because of the government, you know, um, reinjecting capital into certain banks, mm. you know, government trying to inject capital into certain banks to help them meet the uh, 400 million capital requirement. That is why the central bank, you know, helps put bricks 
on coming out, you know, just waiting to see what will happen within the period. Because mm -hmm. with this particular one, they needed to get some money, 120 million, 120 million from the amalgamated, right. you know, group that, you know, the government put in place. Mm -hmm. And so um, let's wait and see what the central bank uh, will come out with. Yeah. At least today we've seen this. They, they have, in fact, this today on Joy Business, we indicated yeah. the fact that one, uh, the managing, deputy managing director mm -hmm. For Omnibank didn't indicate that they, yeah. they are going to start the integration mm. immediately because they have been ready. Mm. They we're just waiting for the central bank. You know, do you know, um, you are very absolutely right, and I I think that um, because they are spending, the government is spending taxpayers' money, um, you know, to support these banks. Uh, you can't really do this in secret. You you must let us know which banks you are supporting with our money to help them meet the standard. Which banks have met it on their own? Because you see. This is, this, is, this is information that, as customers, we need to know. Uh, as citizens, uh, on whose behalf you are regulating the industry, we need to know. Um, I don't quite understand the benefit of, of the secrecy here. Um, who, who is benefiting from that? They secrecy? must understand they are fueling the speculations themselves yeah. Yeah. as a bank. I mean, communication wise, it's not mm. good. It's not they, the they should quickly, I mean, the put something yeah. out there and yeah. help Ghanaians know what is going on because mm. people want to know. Mm. Indeed. Let's look online. Uh, MyJoinOnline.com has a number of headlines. The, the first one, curfew in Chirponi over two-acre conflict. Two acres. Two acres. That is the size of the land uh, over which people are fighting. Can't the government just, you know, claim ownership of that land and end They should the just do the same thing they did with the al in Kunya just situation, where they took over the land and yeah, said, yeah, no, we're going to give to the military. Story. Yeah. And yeah. Just end the whole so, story. Yeah. Yeah. Turn it into a military base. Let's see them come and fight there. NDC blames EC for brazen violation of electoral laws during referenda. Um, and is a referenda, was it one referendum or was it several referenda? I get confused. <laughs> uh, wasn't it one? You had one major yeah. one in different locations, maybe. Uh, maybe it was referenda because they were asked, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, we have almost completed capitalization process. Uh, that's Bank of Africa. Uh, yes, they've uh, informed their customers that by 7th of January they would have completed their process uh, of uh, capitalization. Uh, bank of Africa is, is, is a bank that I have a lot of respect for. Um, they do a great job. That's my personal experience of them anyway. Uh, I hope they're able to meet it so that they can continue. Well, this is 7th, which is Monday. 7th of January, yeah. Monday, okay. holiday. Okay. We'll come back on the yeah. 8th yeah. and, and then see, see how they have managed that. It'll yeah. be fine. A black one writes, time for media to black out bloodthirsty charlatans. I hmm. wonder what you think of that. It's interesting. We d the media do consider a lot of religious leaders as uh, you know, news makers. And uh, we often report what they say. But I wonder whether uh, it's probably better to go the other way with some of them. How, who determines which one is a charlatan and which one isn't? <laughs> anyway, businessman demands 2.3 million Ghana cities from GBC over alleged copyright infringement. Well, well. That's one story that, I mean, mm. copyright is, is, is a very big issue. Yes. If GBC really did what they did, mm. you, you asked the guy to give you designs, they gave you those designs, you, you chose one, they went and brought you quotations and everything, mm. and then before they could say Jack, you yeah, have printed your, your anniversary cloths using mm. that same designs he brought you. Mm. That is a serious crime mm. that, you know, I mean, yeah. if it is true... <coughs> the case in court, Indeed. I can tell Indeed. you that. When people work on behalf of the state and they do things that are illegal, it worries you. But let's see. Let's see if it is proved to be so. All right. Uh, let's go back to that earlier story. Peacekeepers involved in South Sudan's sexual assault won't be shielded. That's uh, uh, um, uh, Justice Derry, the um, Minister for um, the Interior. Okay. Ambrose Derry. Ambrose Derry, not Justice Derry. Justice Derry is the judge who got sacked for Yeah, me. yeah. Okay, uh, Edwinology's lab, uh, interesting, uh, you know, um, piece here. You sh I encourage all of you to read this one. Uh, he calls it Halloween Pastors and Holy Hooligans. And, of course, this is uh, following Usu Bemper's um, prophecies. So go check it out. Very interesting read. And, finally, government justifies support for seven local banks. Uh, and I guess this is uh, what we were talking about earlier. Don't just justify it. Tell us which ones. Uh, and uh, also, doom prophecies shall not come to pass, according to the Pentecostal Council. Details on myjoyonline.com. There we are.
All right. Well, as always, it's a pleasure, Norban. Thanks yes, so much for stopping yes, by. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, we've we've had a good time this week, haven't we? Yes, we have. Yes, yes. The other you, you have the other yes, one. The other two. consolidated uh, the other members will be coming back. Yes. Next. Roland week. had his birthday yesterday. He did. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. A belated happy birthday, my brother. Indeed, I, indeed. I'm, I'm sure that you had a blast. No, but no. make sure you don't come here. Empty-handed. Empty handed because if you do, <laughs> we will turn you back. Oh, Ghana. It's we fascinating how back. when people celebrate their birthdays in Ghana, they are the ones who are supposed <laughs> to give presents to others. Yeah. It's their birthday. <laughs> their day. We should make in, them feel no, special. No, no, no. In Ghana, it's your birthday. You share. How about something? You understand? So, you when, share. so when do people do things for you? Oh, I, well, don't worry. We'll bring things, but you must also when? share. I'm, I'm only saying that <laughs> we would bring you gifts, hey, but you must also share. Wahala. <laughs> anyway, anyway, thank you so much. Uh, thank this, you. It's been wonderful. All right, then. So time now for sports. And uh, right after this, we get into even more uh, detail on the AM show. Stay tuned.